everyone, and welcome to the FactorCareers.com live podcast show, where we discuss our training program, we speak to our students and prospective students to hear their issues, their successes, their progressions. We pull our resources together as a group, and we pass on helpful tips and tricks to get our careers as factoring business brokers on track and progressing forward. Today, I want to speak to you about another topic that will help you in your brokerage. And that topic is follow-up. There is a distinct lack of follow-up in our industry. Brokers all the time get together, call a bunch of uh, prospects, they get some headway, or they don't get any headway, and they just let that lead die and disappear. Do not do yourself the disservice of failing to follow up with your prospects. I don't care if they're not interested, because they may not be interested today, but that doesn't mean things won't change for them tomorrow. Everything changes. We live in a fluid environment. Corporations change business strategies. They change business leaders within their organization. Somebody who was against you before may not be there next week. And you may be someone facing someone who is now suddenly in your favor says, I do need this money. Let's make this happen. Maybe they took on a bigger account that you did, they didn't have at the time you talked to them. And now their resources are stretched thin when before they weren't. The point is, things evolve. Things change. And you won't be there if you're not following up. Here's a prime example. Here's a prime example. Just today, I had a guy call me that I haven't spoken to in six months. But you know the first thing he said to me when he picked up the phone, when I picked up the phone and said hello, he said, Chris, I've been getting these emails for three months. I figured I better give you a call. (laughs) Because I've been following up with him, right? Right? Now, there are ways to follow up that don't include all of these uh, crazy things, you know, where you have to take a lot of your time and effort to do that. You know, for example, you can get a autoresponder to do it for you. You get a prospect, you put him on the list, got to get his permission first, say, you know, may I have your permission to email you? Yeah, you may, right? You can do it as part of a contact form even. But you put him on the list and then you set up some automated emails to go out to him periodically until he gets re-engaged, until he's ready to work with you. Like this gentleman here. Six months later, he calls me back up. Why? Because he started noticing, hey, Chris has been following up with me. He must really want my business. And I do want that business. Thank you, Wendell. I'm not going to let you down. But that's the glory of follow-up. I didn't have to do another single thing except add his name to my list and forget about him. And it just did what it did to get me back in that door. Six months later... I'm about to close this guy's deal and I'm going to make some money without putting any effort into it really this month. It's just a nice thing that happened on top of the work output that I'm putting out this month. It's just a nice thing that happened that's going to make me a little bit richer. And it can do that for you in your business if you follow up. Now, if you want to know the program I use is called Get Response. If you want to get a, a discount on it, go to 
factorcareers.com slash get response. Factorcareers.com slash get response. And there's a code there that will get you a break on it when you get started. Our little gift to you. But don't do yourself the disservice of not following up with your prospects. Even if they're not interested today, that doesn't mean they won't be interested tomorrow. Even if you're in the middle of a deal and the deal goes south, stay in touch with them because you know what? The next deal with them may be around the corner. Just don't stop. Just don't ever stop. Here at Factor Careers, I have people call me all the time that I haven't talked spoken with in months or even a year. I had a a student who's about to become a student anyway call me up out of the blue. I haven't talked to that student since March of last year. I haven't done anything with that student since March of last year. Now, I liked this particular person, and I, you know, did a little extra to try to help that person out. But it didn't It didn't work out for them, unfortunately, at the time. So I put them on my list and have been sending them periodic information, periodic emails. I haven't done anything except put them on the list. The list did the work to do the follow-ups, to keep me in touch, so that when this person's circumstances changed and they were ready to go, rather than look elsewhere for something to do, they thought of us, they thought of me, they thought of Factor Careers because we were in front of them. We were there, constant. I mean, don't do it to where you're being pushy. Don't do it to where you are over the top with it. You don't want to annoy people. But if you send them a couple emails a month, nobody's going to get mad at you. Nobody's going to say unfollow. Nobody's going to report you for doing anything bad. They're going to be glad that you bothered to stay in touch with them. And maybe you can impart some good information to them along the way that makes them happy. Something that could be useful to them, right? That's the benefit of follow-up. Now I have this young lady is going to get back into this course and she's going to make her dreams come true with the information she's going to learn here. She is going to take her life to a new level with the information that she's going to learn here as part of the Million Dollar Broker Training Program at FactorCareers.com. And I'm excited for her future. I'm excited for her present. And I love the drive that got her to follow back up and to get back in. If she followed up with me now... Imagine how she's going to be with her own clients. She's going to go out there and get herself some business. Because she needs the money, because she wants it, and because she knows how to do it. And she's going to know how to do it because right here at FactorCareers.com, that's what we show you how to do. Follow up, follow up, follow up. And then while you're at it, maybe follow up. Don't do yourself the disservice. I've taken the time and the energy to procure and to cultivate a prospect and then let it wither away and die because you just left it to the wind. Or worse yet, Let some other competitor come and take it away from you 
after you've done the hard work of convincing them that what you're offering had value. So you show them that what you had to offer had value and then you disappear. They're going to look for that somewhere else. Pay attention and treat your customers right. Treat your clients right. Because if you don't, your competitors will. All right. Well, I just wanted to say those things to you guys because, look, a lot of brokers are uh, doing well. A lot of brokers are struggling. If you're struggling and you're a broker, maybe think about joining the Million Dollar Broker Training Program. If you're struggling and you happen to be um, in the Million Dollar Broker Training Program, get with us and let's find out why you're struggling. Maybe you're not following all the steps that we teach you in the right order. Maybe you're failing something along the way. Or maybe, just maybe, you're not quite understanding what we're saying. We can solve those problems together. Because together, we can do anything. We all live separate lives and live in separate areas, but that does not mean we have to be separated from each other. The community involvement of this program is what I believe to be our greatest strength. Talk to each other. Learn from each other. Tell your successes and your failures to each other and ask each other questions. In the end, we're all going to be better off for having been part of it. Folks, thank you for joining me today for this brief bot podcast episode. And again, I just want to let you know that if you are interested in getting set up with um, Get Response, which I am a big fan of because Get Response not only will set up emails to send out to your list, at the time you tell it to set up. But another cool thing that they do that I don't think any of the others do, like I know Constant Contact doesn't do it. I know Aweber doesn't do a good job of it. But Get Response lets you actually sit down and design out a program that says, if this person in my list does A, I want my list to automatically do this with it. I want it to do that with it. I want it to go down. And you can move them through your sales cycle funnel. You can move them around and send them different messages based on where they're at and how they got there. That's very sophisticated stuff. Go to factorcareers.com slash get response right now and you can get a code there to get yourself a deal getting signed up. I think they give us a free month to get started. Factorcareers.com slash get response. Go check them out. I think you'll be happy with that. All right. Until later, this is Chris Miller reminding you to always keep smiling.